Welcome back. We now continue our six part series on mammograms. We've taken you through the process, answered your questions, and now it's time for results. We are here at Scottsdale Medical Imaging along with Dr. Denise Reddy, along with Pam Turjan, a nurse navigator, and we're going to kind of take you through the process and find out what happens when you get results. Thank you ladies for joining us. Thank you Thank for having us. Let's first of all talk about results. Um, of course we all want the all clear, but what happens when you get results that say, wait a second, you have to come back and do something? So that's what we call a callback. And what that means is there was a finding on your mammogram and we need to do some additional tests to find out if it's something suspicious or not. Now typically when a woman gets called back, um, we do these extra tests and most of the times it turns out to be nothing. So if you get called back, don't immediately assume that it means that you have cancer. Most of the times it's just dense overlapping tissue or it's something benign, non-cancerous like a cyst. Now you get a diagnostic mammogram, what exactly is that? So a diagnostic mammogram is still an x-ray of your breast, but we take some extra or special views of the breast. And the radiologist is on hand to tell the technologist who's taking the pictures what special pictures we need. Are there any other tests like an ultrasound or do you do anything extra like that? So an ultrasound is a great problem solving tool that we use. It uses sound waves to create pictures of the breast so there's no radiation. And an ultrasound is great at seeing through that really dense tissue. It also helps us determine if a mass is a cyst and filled with fluid or if it's something solid. And let's talk about the biopsy. I think we, we probably a lot of you out there have heard of this, but what exactly happens? So a biopsy means that we take a small piece of tissue so that it can be viewed under a microscope. And there are different types of needle biopsies. For the patient, the experience is pretty much the same for all of them. It, the only difference is the imaging equipment that the radiologist uses to guide the needle to sample the area. That tissue sample is then sent to a specialist called a pathologist, and then sent, they'll send out a results uh, letter. Um, which usually your doctor will tell those results to you, but sometimes here at SMILE we'll have our nurse navigators give you the results. If the results are benign and don't show any signs of cancer, then usually you just return to routine screening. If there are any atypical or cancer cells, then you'll be referred to a breast specialist. But again, just because you need a biopsy it doesn't mean you have cancer. Four out of five biopsies come back negative or show that there's no signs of cancer. Pam, Dr. Reddy mentioned the nurse navigation program, which you're a part of. Can you explain how that works? Once a patient has an unusual finding on a mammogram or ultrasound, they come and meet with us. We set them up for a biopsy, make sure they're medically clear to go through the procedure safely, and then we give them their diagnosis in about three or four days. What do you think having this program means to a patient? Well, we're nationally certified nurses, and they love the education that they get because they feel that once they're educated, they're more empowered to know what is going down, what is coming down the path. The biggest question that patients have is what do I do now? And that's what we answer for them. We do it educationally, we do it emotionally so that the patient feels they have power, they have control, they have a sense of how to organize and manage their care in the very beginning before they meet with the breast surgeon. We've talked a lot about the programs and what happens after you get results. Um, what's your message to women? So when you're going through this process, it can be very stressful. Most of the times everything's gonna be fine and it's gonna be benign. But if you do end up having atypical cells or a cancer, there are resources like our nurse navigators who can really help hold your hand and guide you through that process to help make it less stressful for you. All right, and you can find out more information, everyone. You can also schedule a mammogram online by just going online. It's very simple. It's esmile.com. That's E-S-M-I-L.com. You can also call the number on your screen.